Yo, what's up guys, today we are going to play Throw Chaos, we are playing on a Fell Orc, and I am really thinking about what should I play here. I'm gonna play something I never played before. Devoted Cultist. Maybe I played them like only once, but I don't remember that exactly. So these little guys have uh, plus 4 damage and 50 HP, which really adds up, but also they are anti air units, and they also have a damage support spell. Which, like, everything looks pretty fine. You get one extra low in Demon Blood, which is extra HP and attack rate. Kind of very good upgrade, I would say. Kind of very good upgrade, one of my favorites. Flow Blades is my definitely, like, most favorite and, like, most usable, probably. Like, top tier 1 upgrade, but if I were to name the second one, probably would be Demon Blood. Uh, we're playing against Orc, Gnome, and Undead. Orc, Gnome, and Undead. Uh, neutral buildings look kinda sweet on the left side and kinda shitty on the right side. We have a Stone Quarry that gives like armor to buildings, I think. Uh, we have a Lumber Mule that regenerates HP build like uh, HP of the buildings. But like on the left side, it's very juicy. Uh, question is like, can I dominate the middle? So, Red went for the Necromancer. It's pretty bad. Uh, Foundation to be honest. I played it and I really really dislike it. It's a coil plus uh, immolation around the necromancer. Immolation around a range unit that is like, is, if it's being attacked, it's usually uh, dies in a few seconds. So like, how can it deal damage while immolating? I have no idea. Um, yeah, I just don't know what orc pick, but it's not orc of lightning. And I know what gnome pick, but it's usually not tier 2 foundation. So. Uh, rough math, I think I think I can dominate the middle. I probably can dominate the middle so far. Uh, let's first check if anyone went for the mercenary. Probably like it. it's not time yet to check that, but yeah. So nowadays the way I play is usually I go tier to mid or I go tier to side. Uh, depending if I can win the middle, I feel like you should go for the middle. If you cannot win the middle, you go for the sides. But regardless, I'm always going for the sides now. Grabbing 75 gold from the neutral buildings is first. And second, you force your opponents to upgrade your two barracks on you as well. So you make like a pact between me and red and like me and blue to fit each other tier two units. And for example, if green doesn't do the same thing, well, you know it's gonna be like... Uh, like he, go he gonna go behind on that gonna go behind that, so... That's fine. We can tear for better. Someone now. Uh, blue upgraded meat and went few upgrades, and that went meat and didn't do upgrades. So if I were to say who to upgrade on, probably... Maybe on that. Maybe on that. I mean, kinda depends. Yeah, I don't know. Kinda depends. I just wanna catch of, the, of surprise someone. So probably gonna be undead. And they have zero upgrades, so maybe upgrade against green. Maybe he will think about doing that, so yeah, I think it's a good idea. We are losing middle to orc with good upgrades. Kinda understandable. What's up, Sphere of User? And the fuck is Sphere in League? So when you know you're toxic, you're a very toxic guy. The people around you, like your friends and everyone, just don't, don't really appreciate it. Very toxic. Lots of toxicity. I went to damage upgrades. Just so I don't lose the middle completely. Um, and also like to buff with push, I guess, a little bit. But in general, I don't think it's good. 
before upgrading like my third barracks to on other side. It's really funny how my progression, you know, um, like my game mentality for Survival Chaos have been changing so far. First I was all about the side lanes and upgrading side barracks. Then I mixed out up, up like I, I go mid tier 2 and I go side lane tier 2. Come on please, nice. Dude, are you serious? It was like a millisecond and I don't get a tier 2 unit on this wave. Oh no. So bad. But... Yeah, so I used to upgrade on the side lanes and focus on them. Then I went for like upgrading one mid, one side lane, and I focus only on those. Then I mixed up like um, only mid and masonry. Now I'm back to upgrading every side possible. I feel like just I just I start despising the masonry a lot, and like masonry just doesn't give you too much. If you do the fast math, masonry pays off only in uh, ten minutes, right? Is it not? Yeah, it's 50 gold each minute, so the first upgrade of mercenary pays off only in 10 minutes. Then the second one it's gonna be like uh, 12, 13 minutes, right? Or something like that. So it, ge it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And you know, sometimes like you can go like tier 4 barrack and get so much gold from the middle way more than mercenary can give you. Like, just delay your mercenary until you have other sources of income maximized. So yeah, I'm, I'm just like that. I'm just like that. The earlier I make my el my enemies, you know, make uh, the tier 2 barracks on me, I feel like the better it is, basically. The better it is. They feed me way more units, and that now is feeding me his tier 2 barrack units plus skeletons. The orc, I forced him to do tier 2 barrack on me as well. And I'm pressuring them to the point where they're gonna be summoning more units, using more mana, so it's always good. It's always good to be like that aggressor and probably go in first. Um, another good point is that my casters have good anti-air, so whoever tries to like, uh, you know, switch the things up, the pace, and go to free barrack, my caster's gonna punish them immediately. And if I go to free barrack myself, my air gonna be probably most secure thing ever because I will be eliminating enemies air. So yeah, I, I pretty much like that. Uh, we're starting to roll the middle, and I have a lot of gold for some reason. So I'm really considering going to free mid right now. Um, Ace most likely in 99% went for the tier 4 unit replacement, and because of that, it's very logical for me to try to dominate the middle before he can go for it like so like full in all in you know I don't think my drakes need damage like just upgrading drakes is not something that I really want to probably going for armor is better or going mastery right now um Mercenary or tier 2 main? Maybe, maybe tier 2 main and yeah, actually tower upgrades. Maybe I, I, I should play greedy without mercenary for the time being. Tier 2 caster upgrade is amazing. Preparing a hero, you know, in case someone summons their hero is also amazing. Even tier 4 meat is a good idea. Kind of like, mercenary gonna slow me down so much. In my development. There are many upgrades I consider as well. So, there are no billion mechanical units, but we're kind of scratching your rats base 24 7. So, pillage is good against that. And pillage also is good against uh, iron, because his tier 2 units are mechanical. Orc has 2 2 upgrades. Someone's a hero on me though, I think. Uh, why Blade Master though? Is he that good? If it's a blade on me though. 
I could right now summon Infernos on mid. I think Infernos would be actually amazing. What do you guys think? Just waste a bit of mana for the sake of, you know, not giving up the middle too much. And then follow up with the hero. Let's go, why not? I think it's a good idea to boost my economy even further. Right now, right here, you know. Uh, we could have a Jubei plus uh, Samuro fight of the year. Dude, I know, I, I'm starting to play games seriously and then I'm thinking about some dumb ideas. Like that. But I, I would be a pussy if I didn't go for it. I think I would be a complete pussy if I didn't go for that. So it's a gonna be... It's gonna be Jubei against Samuro. Two Samurais fighting on the middle. Let's go. I was at the top that was I was losing. Now he's gonna be probably changed. Samuro is dying. Samuro is dying. Jubi needs higher levels to have spells though. Battle of two Samurais. And we won it. Nice. Easy clap. I see now if Jubi can kill the Galthazad as well. That would be very nice. Um, probably Demon Blood level 1 and Pillage level 1. There's no point in going pillage free. I feel like level one is fine. Um, liquid fire, kind of eh. Burning arrows, it's pretty good. It burns buildings. Wait, does it burn buildings or mechanicals? Buildings. Okay. Jubei assassinates two heroes. Doesn't lose too much HP either. Nice. That's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. Mm, probably now would be ideally ideal to go for a tier 2 caster upgrade. I would love to continue with my Fall Blades. I feel like Fall Blades is the most important upgrade out of it. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, 3 HP per second. I'm gonna probably not touch it ever again now. I will just max out the uh, slasher. The whole blades. We over push me though. It's kinda sad. I hope I would stay on me though. But I mean, I killed the heroes. So it's like, whatever, I guess. Also gonna kinda pressure green. So it's all good, I think it's all good. And that when tier 3 meet, I'm gonna completely counter it. My caster should be shooting at his air. Come on. Can you can you hit his air? Guys, yo, you have you have like uh yeah, you have Research complete. Oh wait, it's not anti-air! It's actually ground units. Wait, it's a ground unit spell, it's not anti-air. My peg. Um, kind of want to play around Xerox. Kind of want to play around Xerox actually. So maybe maybe we play super greedy, you know, and skip more armor upgrades. I don't know. Skip masonry and armor. Go tier 3. Tier 4 barrack meat as well. Perhaps. I didn't see how, but Ace defended like kinda easily. Kinda kinda easily, so. Probably he used his uh, X spell. Red went tier 3 masonry. Farming his. 
building. They have already 25 gold from salvage. Really a lot, isn't it? Really a lot. Yeah, I think tier 4 meat is actually the way. I, I really like the idea of tier 4 meat. Because Ace is going for it now. As, you, as we can see, he was already tier 3 meat plus a hero, so tier 4 by us. It's very good. Just a question like, do we want to summon a hero maybe? I don't know about that. I'm afraid to over push again and then he gonna establish his tier 3 plus a hero. So, I might just stay like that for the time being. His hero is dying regardless right now. By the looks of it. What do I need? What was the upgrading? Improve gate? Okay. Why not? What's up, Red? Still, you're still on me. Uh, Throw blades, though, free would be very nice. Most important upgrade. The only thing I'm gonna get, to be honest. Uh, Fell Shield also seems okay, but I feel like you need more HP upgrades for that. Very big wave from the middle. Very big wave from the middle. And that has still low amount of upgrades, which is 2-1. Doesn't really want to go further than that. I buffed my middle a little bit, giving the siege damage. I got 85 gold from Salvage, but I don't really think I should go for more than that. I don't think really I should go for more than that. It's like, it scales very badly. It's uh, from the building I'm gonna be getting more gold, but I'm not hitting buildings too often to begin with, so it's like eh. There is a thing that I'm gonna get, uh, yeah, from the units, it's one gold, and only on third upgrade it's three gold, it's two gold. And from the buildings it's like, three, six, nine, take you a second. No. So I'm gonna open the door. Yeah, it's just a question, do I need full armor upgrades or not? Do I need full upgrades on armor or not? Probably not. Right now tier 3 barrack on this side would be nice. We can poke uh, red a bit more. Uh, Red has a lot of gold from Masonry. Really a huge amount of gold from Masonry. Uh, blue is 4-4, four, four, 2 caster upgrades, 3 Masonry, 0 ranged. Kind of my staff control groups. Just to main right now would be very nice. Play my first LTA game today, go to play Forsaken. 
I actually won some fights, got to surround got a, got around 12 CPs and then got sandwiched by Troll, Scourge and Arch Crusade. It was fun though. Nice. Yeah, sounds pretty pretty nice man. Sounds pretty nice. For the first time experience it is. Uh Misile Bolt! Of course! Who would have guessed? For anyone to have anything else. We have the most gold, but yeah, green is we in the middle as we can see. So not for so long. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in trouble soon. More gold is required. More gold is required. More gold is required. More gold is required. You are way ahead in gold if you didn't send any hero yet. I did. Once. Jube. Jube killed Samuro and Kalfuzad and then overpushed here. Alright, let's see. Rats. Then it kind of weird. Not gonna lie. Almost loses a barrack for no reason. Actually, I have a plan. I have a very good plan. I know it's, if it's going to work though, but... Hmm... We'll see. Also, I have zero masonry and not full armor upgrades. Two are missing. My mana is not complete. Let's actually preserve the mana, yeah. Let's preserve the mana cause I need to. I buy more units. I think this is gonna be enough. Yeah, that is probably going to be enough. Too much, too much. How many did I buy a total? Seven? Oh yeah, I need I need pretty slow one mercenary, so I would have an aura. DK aura. Shit. Alright, it is either super unit mid, and I hope he will stay there, or it's a su super unit right, and red will lose his barrack. What do you guys think? Choose fast. Because the time is coming. Is it super unit mid, or is it super unit right? I feel like it's mid actually. Because these missile boats are cancer. Right? <laughs> you are not eligible to say anything, okay? I'm not gonna risk it. Wasted mana, but you know, it's fine. Beautiful barrack by red, which is good. Now, I don't wanna over push. Oh, it's. Wow, they all upgrading barracks on me. Now, I don't want over push, so we go on the go. Mercenary. Yeah, I'm probably totally in a bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, four infernos. I don't think I'm gonna stay in the middle for too long. I'm not gonna lie. Here I will need a hero because the wave appears too fast. Uh, here we can prepare a tearful barrack, probably. That would be an ideal case scenario. Uh, how much gold do you will give me, Xerox? Oh, it's a tearful barrack plus a hero. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around then. 
Yeah, I knew Tearful Barrack was a hero too then. Yeah, like, Super Unit and Mate is very greedy, very greedy play. It's like an, an investment for some time being, you know. Uh, it's not even about me, I feel like. It's more about denying it from Ace. Because Ace has, like, the strongest foundation Gnome has, I feel like. So, by doing what I was doing, yeah, I'm kind of denying him gold. So he is not developing too fast. Yeah, um, the problem is that I'm over pushing now. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Well, he will have fun against Xerox at least, okay? That is for sure. Hmm. Yeah, Jube. I will summon Jube. What are you, tier 3 or not? Tier 2 main, eh? Uh, let's see how you will dance against that. Summon... No. Let's go for armor upgrade. Let's take some damage on towers because I want Jubi to win this fight. Nice. And on top of it, let's upgrade this barrack because yeah, I will need to match tier 3. Uh, so far, I'm satisfied with the exchange. I'm pretty satisfied with the exchange. Ace has literally no mana. He lost one hero. My Xerox killed a lot, so I think it's pretty fun. Uh, Tifo Barrack by Blue. He's trying to rush us. To that, we need to react to with uh, Tifo Barrack plus a hero ourselves. People are really forcing us to use, you know, tier 4 barracks on left and right. Or I could send Xerox, that also is a possibility. Mm. Kind, of, kind of eager to send uh, Frostwolf meat, but I don't know, I feel like it's too greedy. I think that is far too greedy, so... Considering I send already heroes three times plus a super unit, I should preserve myself a little bit more. Just play a bit more carefully. I'm gonna be taking damage on my base here, so let's go masonry. Tier 3 main, probably... Oh, actually no, no super unit yet, eh? No super unit yet. How much more salvage? 500. Nice. Need a hero here, ideally. And I afford it in time. Find me more gold, boys. Come on, fast, 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 fast.
took a bit of damage in that barrack, but besides from that, everything is fine. <laughs> I'm playing very aggressively towards everyone right now. Everyone is under the pressure. It's it's very fun to play like to play this way, I think. You do receive a lot of gold from enemies because they keep on sending you units. <sighs> but yeah, also incredibly hard. I think to balance the things the right way. A bit of miscalculation and I would get over pushed. Like right now Sylvanas plus tier 4 undead is incredibly strong. So I'm thinking about uh, super unit obviously. I think that's the case where I need it, otherwise I lose it. So we're gonna do that. It has been dominated by Ace, but not super one sidedly. Like there is some fight going on at least, so it's not uber bad. Let's go, melee upgrade. And the real question is, do I have gold for like something else, some, some extra stuff or not? Maybe yes. Let's go fell upgrade. Mm. Fell shield. Ah, uh, actually, at the end of the day, I get a lot of cash. I get a lot of cash, so... I think I can afford this as well. Can afford that. Let's go more armor. No one is in a position to be able to shoot anything, like any ultimate weapons, so I'm chilling. Ace is without mana. Blue has mana, but he is behind. And I feel like Red has just very bad economy and probably no mana. Like both, you know. It's kind of risky. Maybe my hero gonna die, but hopefully not. Let's go for more masonry. Because I'm gonna like yeah, here I will tank again with my base. Okay, get a level 1. Level 5 mercenary by red. He has 544 mana. Just a bit, a bit uh, smaller amount than we have. Plus Arthas. It's a combo. Combo pack. Let's go one more mercenary. We we'll have to use the hero blast the units. Why did my ba wait, why my barrack is taking damage? Wait what? What was that? I'm pretty sure I micro it nicely. Dude, this is so random. I don't get it. Mm. Let's go probably... Fell shield, armor. Green is dominating middle so much that, yeah, my hero is dying. Champion 
And he died. And he died. Lost his bottom berg. Okay. Hmm. Let's go all damage on the building's upgrades. I fear the middle gonna slip through soon. And the fact that I, I might have to use my defensive spell right now. Like, I have to get Xerex. I mean, no, I can probably pull it. Pull it together. Yeah, okay, this time I think it's gonna be fine. This time it's gonna be probably fine. I, I might not even need to use Super Unit. Let's try to kill him only using heroes, actually. If something I can summon, like, even more heroes. I think blue's army is even scarier, yeah. So fuck it. Who should I kill first? They both dying like very fast. Let's kill the Galio first. Skeleton. I expect smite. People really like to smite. Should low free. Uh, I think it's, he just got in the the flaming oil, and that's how he deals damage. This is very annoying. This is very annoying. Slow one. Alright. Now what? A lot of units, eh? Can you summon Inferno, please? Summon it now. Let's go summon now. And probably armor. It's like Sarex level 21, so you should pack some punch. Especially fighting us out of the base. Yeah, especially fighting us out of the base. Two of my heroes are not able 
to deal with some shitty flying things. Wow. Okay. Damn. And I thought he was surely going after me instead. I was so sure he would actually go after me with his ultimate weapon. <laughs> what? What? I think I'm losing my Xerox anytime soon. Heroes on middle maybe more likely. I need to buy time. Find on top. Very interesting game situation. <laughs> Very interesting game situation. I know why blue like got mad at green out of nowhere. Just randomly, you know, kinda got pissed and went all in on him. This better cannot take any more damage. Oh my god, the burning flame again! The burning oil, why? How he did apply it? I know the Kodos applied it, but like, why Kodos attack my barrack when there is an army? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, guys, take his main. Ally 
my champion and father. We'll go like that. Fuck, they didn't take his main down. Oh, it went... Oh, it went meat. Wait, it went meat. Wait a second. Wait, it went meat. <laughs> I mean, that's good, I guess. will help but hopefully it fail. Wasn't there a Kalthus hat? No, Kalthus hat was here. Is it one or two, eh? Hmm. Let's go like that. Yeah, I probably need to use the defensive spell here. So, blue has 200 mana. Red has only one barrack. 500 mana. Uh, I know. What you looking at? I don't know what to go for, man. Let's go, maybe. An allied champion has fallen. Maybe this. An allied champion has fallen. Oh, 
Fuck, I queued up too many upgrades. I can't really aggro on anything, that is a problem. Quadruple hero push on mid. Let's go. Mm. I should very carefully absorb. Um, I can shoot ultimate weapon twice, but... If we destroy that barrack... I think that's a good trade. Well, blue is still not out of the game. Blue might still go for uh, like I don't know. He, he still has 50 mana more to spend, you know. So I should not consider that he will not be part of his game. Let's go maybe this, whatever. Can cancel it always. Yeah, fuck that. Canceling like loses your gold, but it's point. Well, I guess both his barracks are low, so... Uh, it would force him to use defensive one. <laughs> because if he would go offense, he would lose two barracks for my one, I guess. Come on, boys, you are high levels. Yeah, grown kids. Sure, you can handle some gnome. Hi. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I, I was completely not watching, not seeing this coming. 
Wait. Wait. I would not summon triple hero on the right side then. DNC right at all. And me is coming too fast. Even though like there is no wave. So, dude, I didn't wake up. <laughs> I didn't wake up. Nice, he will not shoot us anymore. I just had to cancel the upgrades and I would, I would have gold. I just had to cancel the upgrades, dude. What is wrong with me? I have very expensive upgrades in my... In my towers. But I completely forgot about them. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's why you should not really, you know, relax too much, I guess. You should always concentrate. I could just cancel two upgrades that I channeled, like Enriched Beast and Demon Blood. Like, both of them to get gold, so. And I would have summoned the uh, super unit there. But... But no. Alright, super unit gonna deal with this. And on mid we're just gonna pressure with uh, Drektar. No, it's a uh, Gore Green Wolf. Why do I call him Drektar? Hmm. Is Multishot even that good? Like, I don't know. Three targets, no, and like ten percent penalty. Well, they have sixty-four average damage. Doopy. Look at this beauty. Wait, total gold! One hundred and three thousand gold. One hundred and three thousand gold. Top GPM till 10 minutes. Top GPM, like everywhere. Top GPM, dude. I feel like I played a perfect game as a fell orc, actually. Literally a perfect game. Damn, GG.